So there's a new Apple ad out that shows somebody walking through a school, unlocking things with their face, like lockers, doors, all this kind of stuff. At the end of the ad, it zooms in close on her phone to show Apple's unlock with your face feature on the iPhone 10. The thing is, it's zoomed right in and you see the text message, push notifications, expand open to reveal their content when the phone is unlocked. And there's a huge animation glitch prominently featured right at the end of the ad. And I was kind of surprised that Apple would make such an egregious animation fail in one of their ads. Uh, so let's break it down, see where it went wrong, and let's recreate it in Flinto without the glitch. <laughs> okay, so here's the end of the ad. She comes running out of the school, and everything she looks at is unlocking and opening up. And then she looks at her phone and unlocks it. So let me pause it here, and I'm gonna go step through the frames. And this is the part that used to have the animation glitch, but Apple actually fixed it. So as we come here, you see the lock animation, which is really nice. Then it cuts to the push notification. And the idea is that um, the message is obscured until you've unlocked your phone. And when you unlock it by looking at it, the background slides down, you can see that happening, and then the text appears. So this still isn't the smoothest animation because um, it seems like the text switches out pretty quickly instead of crossfading, but at least the background encompasses the text. So Apple updated this video with the corrected version. So you'll have to take my word for it that it was broken before. And let me show you how broken it was because somebody else here, Benjamin Mayo on Twitter captured um, this animation glitch. So you can see here the text comes out of the background and then the background animates down. Let's see that again. So that's how it used to look in the ad. And it was pretty crazy because they focused in so closely on it and you see that animation glitch. Now as somebody who deals with UI animations all day, that was pretty surprising. And here's another tweet by the same guy which shows um, a screenshot from the ad before Apple fixed it. And this shows how the text um, popped outside of the expanding background. All right, so let's recreate this in Flinto just for fun. We'll show the version that's broken and then we'll make a corrected version. Okay, here's my setup. Let me select this layer here that's hidden and I'm gonna fade it in. That's gonna be the message that will appear after the phone is unlocked. So I'm first gonna recreate the broken version of this. I'm gonna select all these layers and create a behavior around them. I'll make a new state. And in this state, the background is gonna be bigger to accommodate the new text and that new text will fade in. And the old text is gonna fade out. So pretty simple. Let me just adjust that background. And now what I wanna do is make the background animate slower than the other layers. So I'm going to increase the duration of the background. And now you'll see that the text clearly spills over the background. So that's the kind of glitched animation. That's what we don't wanna see because it looks broken. So now that we've seen that, let's make a nicer version of this. So what I'm gonna do is ungroup this um, so I can start from scratch. So I'm gonna start fresh here. And now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the background layer and I'm gonna turn its radius all the way to zero. I'm gonna select this push notification and put it in a group. Then I'm gonna turn the clip option on for this group. And I'm gonna make the background extra big so that it spills over the group, but because it's being clipped, you only see the, uh, that smaller area that's clipped. Now with the group that is clipping this selected, I can turn a radius on, on there. So I'm gonna set this to a radius of 10 and now I'm back to kind of how it looked before. And let me make this a little smaller and you can see how it clips off, but we maintain the radius at whatever size I put. So let me put this at a nice size that looks right. And let's go ahead and select all these layers again and we'll make a new behavior with the new setup with that clip group. All right, new state. And in this state, we're gonna fade out that text, fade in the new text, and we're gonna resize the clip group to reveal more of the background. Now what's cool about this is the text can't spill over because it's being clipped off by the clip group. So even if I were to mess up the uh, durations, it'll never overflow from the background. But I'm gonna set all the durations to be 250 for the clip group and the text fading in and out just because that seems like a comfortable duration for me. And now let me zoom in and do this lock animation. So I'm gonna select these vector points and move them over to the other side so that it looks like the lock has kind of spun around, the shackle has spun around. Let me just straighten all these points out and I'll slide that up. 
And there's that animation. So that's a pretty cool one. That's a nice detail. Let me zoom back out and we can see the whole thing. Perfect. I'm gonna name this unlock. And uh, we need a way to get between these two states so that I can test it out. And what I'm gonna do is make a big link on the initial state that goes to the new state. And this really big link is just gonna make it easy for me to tap back and forth and test this out. Then I'll go to the new state, make a really big link there, going back to the initial state. All right, so let me open up the preview and I can just tap anywhere now to test this out. And it looks good, none of the text spills over. Even in slow motion, you can see that the clip group clips the text so that it looks really nice. Let's connect this to my device so we can test it live in context. And there it is, looks really nice. And uh, that's a pretty quick job in the behavior designer. And you can see initially the broken version and then the improved version. There's probably more ways to improve this, but I thought that the clip group was a nice way because it guarantees the text will never overflow. And hopefully this shows you how you can use Flinto to quickly throw together examples. And this is a great communication tool if you need to share this with somebody you know, if you were on that team and you wanted to show how it could be improved, this is a great explanation of that, to see it visually like this. Have you seen any glitched animations? Send them to me and maybe I'll make a video about them.